Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the Three Topics Gamer, here to give you another episode of my weekly Q&A titled People's Questions where I answer <laughs> questions that have been sent to me over the past week. And uh, this episode is going to be uh, rather interesting because even though I did get a number of questions in the comment section of the last video, for this particular video, I only found one that I thought was actually really good was actually thought-provoking, would take some time, and I thought was video-worthy. Everybody else I was actually able to answer in the comment sections, or if anything, uh, I didn't even know, I, I wouldn't have had an answer for that question, so I, I do apologize. So if you don't hear your question in the video, please don't take it personally. It's just, you know, I'm, tr I'm trying to, you know, up my game in terms of the quality of questions, and some people even sent in multiple questions, so that kind of threw me off. So before I begin, I would just like to uh, thank everyone that did happen to send your questions that I answered in the comment section, as well as the one person that actually had a question I, I thought was actually really good, and I'll actually get a bit personal with this one. So before I get into this one question, if you do happen to enjoy this video by the end, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep track of me in all my future videos, as well as future episodes of People's Questions every Friday. So, the only question that I got in the comment section of the last video that I thought was really good came from the Batman of Neo Gotham, and he wants to know, what was one thing you did in your life that you felt was a waste of time and didn't get you anywhere? Well, um, one thing I did that I, I feel now was a waste of time was actually attempting to uh, date my one and only girlfriend that uh, surprisingly the relationship I, I had tried for five years to date this girl that I knew since I was I believe a junior in high school and after five years I only got to date her for like two months before she disappeared I thought she had died and then you know went through like a couple years of depression and mourning and then like about a year or two ago she reappeared and the next thing I knew she was she had two kids and was addicted to cannabis so yeah, so I will say this. It was a lesson that I did happen to, I guess, was hinting at when I was much younger. And I just kind of learned, I, I learned to notice little things. I mean, I, I guess now already I could basically maybe call her like a user or maybe a gold digger, even though back then I didn't have much money. I was only 19. And it's kind of interesting because when I actually go back and actually uh, read some of my thoughts it's kind of amazing how even back then um even i could sense something was wrong so i'm actually going to read just a couple entries now mind you this is me at 19 i haven't turned 20 yet and it's kind of funny how the series of events have led to a singular realization of something that i was kind of fearing for so long so this entry took place on august 24th 2010 so again i'm still 19 and here it goes well after nearly five years of friendship i think it might be time to give up on mrs b i'll, I'll keep her name anonymous i no longer believe that me and her would work the reasons i would say this is because we are just too different and there's too much to risk over the years, I've tried everything to get past her barriers, but I have failed every time. Also, over the years, I have done nothing but give, 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 and have received nothing in return. All I've gotten is some hugs and a teddy bear that I no longer have. Speaking of that teddy bear, while I was living in Phoenix, um, it was a Valentine's Day gift that she got me once, and while I was living in Phoenix, I just gave it to some kid that I met at some hospital that looked like she needed it. So that's what happened to that teddy bear that I no longer have. I'm not saying that hugs are bad, but after a while they start to lose their meaning, and I do not think that friends that give friends gifts and don't give them back is fair. I've been trying to come up with a reason to support Mrs. B, but I don't think I'm working things out. I am done being a pawn in her game. If she wants to continue this, and she's going to have to prove to me that she's just as committed to this friendship as I am. Now, that was on August. Now, here's where things get really, really crazy. Now... At this point, uh, my, my thoughts towards her had been a little bit strange. But um, here we go. November 7th. So now I am officially 20. Once again, it has been a while since I've written this journal. And once again, a lot of things have happened. For starters, I have finally broken things up with Mrs. B. 
We are still going to be good friends, but as of now, I am no longer wish to go out with her or lend her any more money. At this point, she didn't have a job, and uh, I'd had my first job, and I would occasionally give her, like, a percentage of my paycheck, which was stupid. Trust me. 19-year-old me was really, really stupid. And, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. It's true that she is working, that she should be able to take care of herself. She really needs to prove to me and to everyone that she can handle an adult situation on her own. And I'm now ready to move on finally and try to find someone else and try to go out with them. Okay, so this is November 7th. Now, listen what happened to me just a month later. About a month after I said it broken off here is what happened on December 5th, 2010. Well, after almost five years of trying and waiting, it is official that me and Mrs. B are now dating. There are only two things odd about this statement. First off, she asked me out after a good month after I had already given up, as I said earlier. The second is, even with this good news, I can't shake this feeling that this might be a move of desperation, which it ended up being. And then, let's see what happened just about a little over two months after this happened. Here we go. Well, it has been a crazy last number of days, and I have yet to hear a single word from Mrs. B. I am now officially done with the whole thing. Whether she knows it or not, we are not dating anymore. So, that was the lesson I learned. I knew during that time I noticed certain things, even back then, but it was a constant battle of my head versus my heart. And nowadays, I tend to follow my head in most days, or even, you know, take a couple of precautions. But that was probably the one, the biggest regret and biggest waste of time because I'm the kind of person that will spend many years just to get to know someone before I feel comfortable. Maybe that's a flaw on my part, but, I, you know, the, I, the fact that even since then, that was 10 years ago and I have not been on a date since then. I, I think... I'm not, I, I'm sure I'm over the whole situation, but I think I'm just a little bit, I'm more, much more cautious, and I would prefer to see myself be put in a certain situation before I feel comfortable pursuing another romantic relationship. So that is a very, very important lesson that I learned in terms of something I thought was worth it, but overall ended up not being worth it at all. So that is one of the greatest lessons that I ever learned. And hopefully some of you have, you know, maybe you've, uh, hopefully you haven't been through what I've been through. I'm sure some of you have, but, um... Yeah, if there was one thing I could go back and tell myself, I would have, heck, I would have told myself to go back even further. I would have gone back and told my high school self to just avoid this person. I mean, the only reason I even met this person was because I was about to make a serious mistake and she kind of semi-stopped me from doing it. It was a pretty serious, serious mis mistake I was about to commit, but that's kind of what started the whole friendship and it went for a period of time. But in the end, it uh, didn't end well. So that about does it for this episode of the People's Questions. I would like to thank the Batman of the New Gotham for Ant sending me a question that allowed me to get very personal. I really do enjoy these thought-provoking questions. And remember, if you guys have any more questions you'd like me to answer in next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. But make sure you get them to me roughly before next Thursday around noon before I start filming the next episode. And if you, again, if you really want to increase your odds of having your question answered in the video instead of the comment section, just have them be really unique or stand out. They don't necessarily have to be very personal, but something that's something you don't think I might have answered before. Something that's not as simple to answer in the comps. Something that really gets me thinking. It's the questions that really get my mind thinking that I really want to answer the most. So with that said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will see you next time.